Uh, can you close that? Push all the clothes in and close that. Go help your brother. <sighs> howdy, howdy. Hello. Uh, Hello. You got cotton balls? Yeah. And honey. You need a cup. You need a cup too. Oh, oh. cups for the paintbrushes. I'll just take those. Miss Nikki. Yes. We were all out of cotton balls, so we just have these. That's fine. That'll work great. <laughs> and we also got a cup. You also got what? Yeah, Miss Nikki, thank you for the card. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you got it. Did you guys get one? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad you guys made it to you guys. We're probably going to have a present for you guys um, later this week. Mm. Carol and I will. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, My little Yeah, I have six cotton balls in them. Yeah, my guess is that, that you're probably not going to need like a whole ton just because, sorry, I'm messing with my head. Yeah, mom only had six. Because it's going to be a kind of challenging. We only have two apart. No, we don't have four. You could just keep dumping them out if you need to. Mom <laughs> only had six left. No, cockles, cockles falling everywhere. <laughs> I don't see the one. I think they're. I have to start video. You're doing great. Got something sticky to put on your nose? <laughs> yeah, whenever your nose gets raw, you put it on your nose. Like right here. You need a cotton ball. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun game because we're on a new theme. So, and it's all about getting unstuck. So, let me see if I can put this up. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> My house. Oh, somebody's baby's crying. It's mine. Mm -hmm. My bub's crying because he can't climb the chair. <laughs> oh, yep, sounds about right. All right, this is what we're talking about all month long. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> it looks like gooey, gooey, doesn't it? Ew, it's glowing. Let me get my script out. Script out. All right. Hi, Bracken. Did you just wake up? No. You look sad. Oh, poor Bella. Hey, Grant. Hey, Maggie. Don't say who wants to get. I'll see you outside. I thought about doing that, but then it'd probably be too windy. All right, so I'm going to get started, and if people hop in, that's great. So, are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. All right. So, welcome to your virtual jump. All right, it's great to see you guys again. It's a brand new month. The things around here are looking a little sticky and gooey. Why? Well, all month long, we're talking about how we can get unstuck. 
So I think all of us have felt stuck before. Maybe your bike got stuck in the mud or your finger got stuck to some tape or maybe you got stuck on a question on a test before. Maybe you felt stuck, stuck because in a your friend track. asked for help and you didn't know what to do. My fingers well, got stuck in a finger. Here's some good news. That one, that counts. <laughs> So here's some good news. No matter how stuck we might feel, we can get unstuck with a little determination. And determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So this morning, I asked you all to have some cotton balls, a cup, and something to get stuck on your nose, right? I'm going to demonstrate real quick what you're going to do. Gasoline. Yeah, gasoline works, honey, something that's going to stick to the stick, right? So, here's what, let me demonstrate it first. We're going to, oh, I forgot to put up the slide of what we're doing. So, we're going to make cotton ball shake. So here's what you're gonna do. You cannot use your hands beside this part right here. You're gonna stick it on your nose. <laughs> it's right? a Vaseline. You have to rub it on your nose. Yep. Because this is the only part of your body that you're gonna be able to use in the game. All right. And then you just watch for right now. You can use the cotton ball to put it on your nose if you don't want to get your face dirty. So I'm gonna give you a timer and then you're gonna go to the cotton ball and you're gonna go like that and go to your cup. And try to shake it off with the <laughs> But you can't use your hands. <laughs> can I use your hands? Well, I mean, maybe you could just touch your cup and that's it. So everybody go ahead and get your... Start dabbing stuff on your nose. I'll pass out the cup. Okay. I don't trust you. With Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Ruben loves it. Oh my gosh, how are you gonna get it off? Do you have like if you're wipe it off? It wipes off. Alright. Okay, Ruben, you can get your spot. Not yet, guys. Not yet. Rebecca, it's a game. Real so weird. Okay. Just take your Go sit down in a chair. Hey, right Carson. Here. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put the timer on. Everybody got something on their nose to stick to their cotton balls? Okay. I've got fast lane. Okay. So, reminder you're going to bend over. Stick to the cotton ball. Don't use your hands. I wiped it off my nose. Bend over, stick it to the cotton ball, take it to the cup. All right? And you're going to have to probably shake it a lot in order to get it off. So, you're I'm probably only going to get one on there because I put a lot of Vaseline on. Yeah, yours is probably going to stick. <laughs> so let me get my timer. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> Honey, you said we're allowed to touch only the cup. Touch only the cup. Do not touch your nose. On your mark. Um, get set. And go. <laughs> sticky, sticky, gooey. St oh, I see it sticking to Eliza and Colton and Henry. Oh, Bailey's got it stuck. Good job. Use that to turn. Good job, Carson. Kaylee, put it on. No. Rackin, are you not going to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All your guys. Good job, Maggie. Good job, Grant.
I got a lot. Mm. I'll be right back. Bust your noses good. off. Did you guys have a cotton ball shake? I got all the cotton balls in. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think we found something on his elf. Well, I need to go get one. Oh, I, got, oh, oh. I got two rounds. Oh, I got three rounds. I think they use Vaseline as diaper cream. Alright. Cut my Yes, Lee. I think so. <laughs> Alright. Let me get my... Good job, guys. You guys use some determination. Get it done. If you want to count how many you did, that's fine, but that's fine. Good job. I did six. I hope you had a little fun. We're trying to keep these games lively for you on Zoom. So, <laughs> all right. So, all of y'all had determination and you kept going when the task was tough, even when it gets kind of crazy. So, we've got a great Bible story about determination coming up. And so, I'm going to pass it on to Lee. Um, during the story, if she needs one of you guys to do something, I'm going to private message you guys. So that's what's going to happen. All right. All right. I'm going to mute everybody except for Lee. Continue. Unmute. There you go, Lee. than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
So does anybody have a guess of what she was doing? Uh, no. What do you think? Naomi, you were there. Do you have a guess of what she was doing? Um, I think she was like... She said one of the women at the tomb. Eliza has a guess. Eliza, what do you think? Okay, I think she's either praying or shouting. Praying or shouting. That's a pretty good guess. <laughs> right. So what were you doing, Nikki? Um, I was on a mountain. <laughs> he just appeared to me. <laughs> So I was a disciple on a mountain and Jesus had appeared to me. So Okay, so she was a disciple. She's just seen Jesus. They were talking on the mountain and then they see Jesus. Okay, so what do you think she was doing? Who'd you say? Which one do you want, Naomi or Grant? You have to stick your hand on top of your head. Face the camera, stick your hand on. She has to act out now with her hand stuck here, something. Okay. You guys have to guess what she's doing. Is that all you're gonna do? Ruben, put your hand down. So this is May, this is what the disciples would do once they saw Jesus up on the mountain. What do you think? Uh, they bow down to him. Okay. Any guesses what the disciples did? <laughs> all right, we're gonna give you 10 seconds. There you go. Don't block it, Becca. Down to yeah, bowing is one thing that helps you. There's a big word that will be bowing and waiting to see. What do you think, Ruben? Okay, Ruben. Oh, back from Parker's. I also have a guess. Ruben, what was your guess? Um, worship. Very good. You guys have to guess what Grant is doing with his knees stuck together. His knees are stuck together, but you guys got to guess what he is doing. Where are you? There you are. Go, Grant. What's he doing, guys? What is Grant doing? What is something that the disciples would end up doing? Pointing at Jesus. Think about that. Uh, appeared to them on the mountain. They worshipped him. Then he told them to go. And Grant was pointing at things. It's pretty easy pointer things. So it's to get your 
Eliza. Have this. Eliza's raising her hand. All right, Eliza, what do you think? Jesus told uh, the disciples their new mission. Okay, kind of. That's part of it. There's a word, and all of you all have been. Okay. Bracken's raising his hand. Okay, Bracken, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Bracken? Can hear you. No, your mommy and daddy are good at this. Starts with a T. There we go. All right. So. I'm not choosing stuff. Okay. Yes, Jesus told his disciples to be teachers. He wanted them to tell everyone about him. Here's what Jesus said. So you must go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And you can be sure that I'm always with you to the very end. Whoa, this is a big job telling all the nations about Jesus. The disciples were a small group of people. How would they be able to tell the whole world about Jesus? wondered how they could possibly even begin with this impossible mission. So Jesus' followers returned to Jerusalem. One day, Jesus led them to a hill outside the city near Bethany. So I need to ask someone else to ask about that. Watch your screen. I think this is going to... Who are you choosing right now? I'm going to do Kaylee. Okay. Okay, you should. Kaylee, did you get a message? Kaylee, did you get a message? All right. Okay. Kaylee, did you get a message? You say, can you act out? Yeah. Okay, now don't say the next part. Yeah, you have to pretend your fingertips are stuck, your fingertips are stuck together to do this. So act it out. You ready? Got it? All right, Kaylee's going to act out something. You guys can't say it since you're reading it. Okay. okay, you ready? Go. No, Jesus already told them to do something. Eating? What do you think? Does anybody have a guess? You can stop. Anyone? Anyone? Let's say. Uh, we haven't heard from Emma and Gentry. Do you all have a guess of what she's doing? Eating. That's right. That's right. On the day Jesus was eating a meal with the disciples, that might seem like an odd detail to the disciples, but it shows us that Jesus was really alive. They weren't dreaming. Jesus was coming back from the dead, living, breathing, and even eating like you and me. Jesus told them that very soon that God was going to do something special for them. So we got one more. You think Carson, you can do this one? So this one, you have to act out, but you, can, you can't use your arm. Get it, Carson? Ready? Go. Anybody have a guess of what he's doing? 
Jesus promised the disciples that he would give them, what were you doing, Carson? What were you asking? I don't remember. <laughs> You're supposed to be giving someone a gift. A gift that would help them accomplish their big mission of telling the world about him. Do not leave Jerusalem, he said. Wait for the gift my father promised. You have heard me talk about it. John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Jesus went on to say this. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes to you. Then you will tell people about me in Jerusalem and all of Judea and Samaria. And you will even tell other people about me from one end of the earth to the other. So, after Jesus told the disciples that they would say in something amazing Okay, her right foot is stuck this time, guys, and she's going to act out something for you. Ready? Jumping for joy. Jumping for joy. Keep going. Ten, nine. Jumping for joy that the Lord is here. All right. A lot of people are saying jumping. We got Eliza holding her hand. Bailey's holding her hand. Well, I, Bailey, what did you think it was? Mm -hmm. Bailey Moore. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was jumping for joy that the Lord is here. Okay, Eliza, what did you think it was? Telling people about him, like getting their chances to take him over there and then telling them about him. That's a good one. Well, think about it. They were on a mountain. They had seen this age, and then he told them to wait for the Holy Spirit. Do you know what comes next? Jesus went what? Where did Jesus go after that, guys? No. He went to heaven. He was there God's life. He was up to heaven. The apostles want to tell Claire did him from their thoughts. Then suddenly, two men dressed in white clothing stood beside the Should be stuck on Lee as she acts out this last one, guys. So each of us have to pick out something. What should be stuck on her? Her foot stuck somewhere. Her hand stuck somewhere. Where, what should we do, Eliza? Her foot stuck on her leg. I think her um both arms should be behind her back. Her hand behind her back. Is that what you said? Both arms. Both arms behind her back. Are you up for that, Lee? <laughs> All right, here she goes. She's going to act out the last one. Ready, go. What is Lee doing? Not paying attention. <laughs> All right, that's 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think Lee was doing? Colton? Uh, she was waiting for God. That's right, I was waiting. Jesus had told the disciples to wait in Jerusalem because soon God would be sending them the Holy Spirit to help them. So that's what they did. They waited. Jesus had given his 
followers would seem to be an impossible job. He has told them to share his story and his love with every nation across the entire world. The disciples had no idea where to start, but Jesus promised that he would send a gift to help them. So they waited in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to come. They trusted that God would give them exactly what they needed to begin their impossible mission. Here's the really cool part. Jesus has given us the same mission that he gave the disciples. He wants us to tell others about him. We are all part of his big story. We're continuing the work that the disciples began. And we know that God will help us keep going even when it seems impossible. Here's what we need to remember. Keep going even when it seems impossible. Can you say that? Keep, Keep going, going even, even when, when it seems impossible. impossible. So let's thank God for using us to share the great news about Jesus. So let's pray. Dear God, we know that you can do the impossible. Thank you for being with us so we can do things that seem impossible. When we feel stuck or when we feel like giving up, please remind us of the disciples and how you gave them the courage to take on their impossible mission. Thank you for always being with us and for being God. That being a God that we can trust no matter what. We love you and we ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. So from the beginning, God always had a plan to rescue us. That's why he sent Jesus. Jesus came to die on the cross for our sins so we could be forgiven. Jesus died, but on the third day, he rose from the dead. He gave his friends a mission. He told them to tell the world about everything he had done. It must have seemed impossible for the disciples to carry out Jesus' mission, but Jesus made them a promise that he would always be with them. Jesus is with us, just like he was with the disciples. So when you remember that, you can have determination no matter what challenges you might face in life. So remember, guys, keep going, even when it seems impossible. When we feel stuck, we can remember that God is always with us. We can trust him no matter what. We can help us, he can help us get unstuck as we choose to live his way every day. And, to, and remember, the mission Jesus gave the disciple is also true for us today, to tell others about him. God called us to a big mission, and sometimes it seems impossible. But when we remember that God is with us, we don't have to feel stuck. So let's take a look at our memory verse this month, Galatians 6, 9. It says, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we do not give up. That's Galatians 6, 9. So that's determination. We can focus on the good results that, we, that will happen when we live God's way. So then we can start doing something good, even when it seems impossible. So I, so I decided that if you guys all on Zoom can remember this Bible verse this month, I decided that I would let Rob slime me if you guys did it and videoed and sent it to me or posted it on your parents posted on Facebook. So that is your challenge this month to, to learn your Bible verse, send it to me. Every single one of you that's here today has to remember that Bible verse today in order for me to get slimed by Rob, my husband. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. Because <laughs> green slime in my hair doesn't sound great to me, but I would do it for you guys, so. All right, I'm gonna, is Courtney there? I'm gonna play a game with you guys, and I gotta make her the host. We're gonna do what we did last week, and we are going to do... I hope. All right. I changed it to you, Courtney. Okay. So either gonna Hey, Courtney, you may have to um, mute a couple people because you're cutting out. Um, 
So every, everybody needs to get out their phone or something and stop, Ruben, and go to the hoot. Be right back. Stop, Ruben. Stop, Ruben. I'm on my phone right now. I can't hear you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this gives me a lot of power. Okay, I'm going to share my screen so that you can see the Kahoot code. So get another device or split your screen like we talked about last week. Kaylee, are you good? How are you supposed to dis uh, split your screen? I don't know. Jess, I don't know what just happened to mine. I got the code and I just don't know what it means to them. Yes, can you maybe join that or something? Well, I went into the disciple first to allow me to join. The video is not done. You were in the lead too. You were in first place. I it picked it for 